Well, there's finally a notice of demolition on one of the on one of the siblings here. Um, basically, the sidewalks become production here at the Yucca Argyle Apartments, and after many years of everybody getting displaced, the demo notices have started to appear. Now, this one is just for demolishing the the parking garage, and the many rent-controlled units are not yet so notified, but. I think they might be coming next, and that's what the gentleman, the guard said, would be to be expected. So, you know, for many years, this is how folks who lived in this neighborhood would have their guests come and show up. This is an entire block of rent-controlled housing, and it is deeply implicated in, guess what? The Curran Price public corruption trial. And that's because Del Richardson, the wife of Curran Price, moved in and, and started getting rid of tenants and offering them some kind of right of return, which didn't really ever come to fruition. Last I heard there were people living in here, but you can see the kind of thing they want in Hollywood now. They don't want nice little low rise garden court apartments. And uh, the developer is working on this project, believe it or not, hmm, why not? Uh, the developer working on this project, believe it or not, also owns these historic houses here in the back that are boarded up and have been experiencing some fires. So it's a tough thing. I mean, these are these are all workforce housing in the heart of Hollywood, and yet they're just not available to anyone as more and more people get pushed out. And the interesting thing about this case that's coming through is that the council member's wife, you know, <laughs> has a financial interest in the project. And yet the council member, still sitting council member, Kern Price, just put on the Olympic Committee, he uh, has been voting on projects that his wife was, was involved in and was supposed to recuse. So lots of lovely little houses on this cute historic street around the corner. Um, there was a fire here quite recently. I'm not sure which one burned. It might've been this one. You can see a lot, lot of blight. A lot of unused housing. Of course, in the city of Los Angeles, we have far more housing than we have unhoused people. And so people find their ways to, you know, to sleep in these empty buildings, but that can be quite dangerous. Try to stay warm, try to cook. Or maybe you fall asleep and you get a cigarette. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna be keeping an eye on Yucca Argyle in memory of John Walsh who was one of the great activists in the city of Los Angeles, did a lot of terrific work. And uh, he is no longer here, so I guess the ghost of John Walsh is still watching. And if you want to know what John Walsh had to say about all this, he would tell you. There's a lot of very dirty people in the city of Los Angeles, and you have to keep an eye on them. And you have to tell the truth about what they're up to. Because if you don't, you'll end up with what we have in Hollywood right now, which is nowhere to live. Nowhere for people to live. A lot of tourists, a lot of bots, a lot of empty buildings. And uh, that's an extraordinary thing. Uh, this production crew is actually using the sidewalk and they're spray painting stuff. I had to ask them to stop so I could walk by without getting spray painted on. So as we walk towards the corner of Yucca and Argyle, we'll try not to get spray painted and let you get just one last look at these sweet little pastel triplets, these lovely apartments where for many years Angelinos lived and loved and, you know, commuted to their local work and enjoyed whatever it is people enjoyed back when people could live in Hollywood. I imagine these beautiful bits of metal are not long for this world, so let's memorialize them. Of course, straight through the back, you'll see some really nice looking palms. That's the old Bartlett Estate, the landmark little country church of Hollywood, which was destroyed in an arson fire in the last property boom. And as you can see, this is just, because no one lives here, the crew is set up and is doing everything they want to do in these parking spaces. Hey there. Public space is a strange thing in Los Angeles. So it goes from yellow to green to 
to pink. The landfill. You'll notice a completely different and very pretty metal form here. You guys live in the neighborhood? No. Grew up here. Huh? Grew up here. You said what? I grew up here. Oh, right here? Down the block, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully, like another month, they still turn down. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is why people don't get to live in Los Angeles anymore. Speculative development and special deals that are made by council members who who may be heading to prison for the votes that they made. And uh, this is how Hollywood happens. You get things and you you paint them orange, and then you can use them for whatever nefarious purposes you have. But I really want you to see see Pinky down here. Pinky's pretty special. You can actually see into one of the apartments here on the corner. And this was a great apartment to have. Look at that. This is somebody's home. Not anymore. Come around the corner and you'll see where you are. This is Yucca and Argyle. You got the DWP there. You got this crazy Argyle house project. Uh, Capitol Records just behind it. Pinky may be the prettiest. A lot of broken windows, a lot of boarded up sections. There's three large garden court buildings, so a lot of people displaced here. Just over there, that's the Pantages. People have definitely been inside, leaving some messages before they uh, take off for the last time. I think maybe the tenants who were sticking it out may have ceased sticking it out. You can only stick it out so long. And here we're coming around to the beautiful Lost Garden, the little country church of Hollywood, the old Bartlett estate. Oh, I didn't quite get that strange tagging, that sort of sub Banksy project in the doorway. Let's see if we can see that for you. There you go. See that strange little smoky figure? Goodbye 1756 Pinky and as we head down into the flats of Hollywood you can see the sorts of things they want people to enjoy now which are just high-rise towers and corporate stuff, not cute little apartment houses, but right here, directly to the south, and part of the reason this was such a great place to live, this is the old Bartlett Estate, the old landmark Little Country Church of Hollywood property, which, although the last owner allowed it to burn in a suspicious arson fire, it is still officially a landmark. It's been closed up for many years. Wouldn't it be great to reopen this as a pocket park? I'm sure the developer uh, he has plans for it because a very strange thing hit the council file recently seeking to take away its Mills Act credits, if I remember correctly, which is strange. Like, why would anyone care about this completely abandoned <laughs> landmark property that has some tax credits unless you had a reason for it? Someone threw a fern in there. So, yeah. Enjoy it while you can. These are some of the oldest plantings in Hollywood. A lot of tagging there on the side you might see. I'm gonna let this one go. And I'm just gonna say goodbye to Yucca. Goodbye to Argyle. Goodbye to the ghost of John Walsh. And uh, a giant middle finger to Eric Garcetti, who's partying in India. Mitch O'Farrell, who's just kind of vanished. What you guys did to Hollywood you're going to have to reckon with in your next life, if not in this one. And uh, it's a terrible thing you did. This was, it was a lot of people who were a big part of our community. All displaced from the triplets. Bye, Pinky. Bye, Greeny. Bye, Yellowy. We'll be here when you get demolished. I'm going to watch. Goodbye.